Hello, I'm Richard Ridge. Welcome to Broadway Beat. Currently in its second decade on Broadway, Cats is making good on its advertisement's promise of running now and forever. Cats first opened at the Winter Garden Theater on October 7, 1982, and went on to win seven Tony Awards, including Best Musical. On June 19, 1997, Cats became the longest-running show in Broadway history. Based on T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, the show has music by the Tony Award-winning composer of Phantom of the Opera, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, and is directed by Trevor Nunn. With numerous companies around the globe, Cats has grossed over $2.2 billion and has been seen by over 47 million people worldwide. While continuing to pack theaters, Cats is now available on home video, starring the original Grizabella, Elaine Page, reprising the haunting showstopper, Memory. This week we drop by the Winter Garden Theater to visit with some of the current Broadway felines, including two that are featured in the home video, Jacob Brent and Michael Gruber. So now let's find out what makes these cats continue to purr. <laughs> Why do you think Cats is such a longevity and it's such a universal show? Yeah, I think it's because of there, there's no language barrier. I think being around for the last year of Chorus Line and, and seeing that and uh, Chorus Line being a much more literate show as far as um, you know being a Pulitzer Prize winning um, book. And right, it won the Pulitzer, yeah. And um, I think this show has an appeal to uh, tourists and foreign tourists who come into New York and they can get the idea of the show without understanding English. So I think that that's one aspect. And on the other hand, it's for children and families. And um, a lot of people will bring their families and it becomes a, uh, maybe an annual event where they'll come. I think that's why the show sort of continues to run and may run forever, who knows? Because especially with the video, which seems to have made people, uh, brought it into people's homes and now it's odd that it seems to be the response is that people now want to see it live instead of what they thought might have happened is that it would close the show because everybody would say, oh, we can just rent the video, why go see it? But it seems to have had this kind of odd opposite reaction where people are like, wow, I, w I, I want to see that live now. You know, and, and kids will see it and say, oh, I want to go, like my nieces and nephews are all like, I want to go now and see it you know, live and in New York. So maybe that's the reason it's, it's had such a you know, long and profitable run. The other amazing thing about your show is when shows start to get into a long run, they start to fall apart. Yeah. Costumes start to get shoddy. The sets of shows aren't kept up. Yeah. Your show is as tight now as it was when it opened. Who does that? Well, we have a great staff, you know, great stage managers, a great dance captain. Um, Jillian is present at least twice a year. She'll come in and, and work with the company. And I think that that's probably one of the most important things because you get the source coming in even though Trevor is really no longer involved Jillian really does care and she really will come in and work with the new cast because they do turn over a lot and you do have like even in the 10 months since I was away to come back I would say it's almost half a new company if not more so so <clears throat> it's great that they the people who maintain it care enough to really have an integrity and, and to keep the show fresh well, tell me how long it takes you to prepare for a performance of Cats. Well, I usually, it's like 45 minutes about for me. Some people can do it. I, I, it takes me a long time I, to do the makeup. Some people ha are incredibly facile with it and can like put it on in the, and it looks brilliant in record time. And for me, it takes me a little longer. I don't know why. It just, so it takes me about 30 to 35, 40 minutes to put my makeup on and then to warm up and get ready to, you know, do the show. So I get usually a quarter of or no later than seven and begin the uh, ritual. <laughs> so at what point during the makeup preparation does the character start to evolve in your mind? Mm. I think when I start lining. I mean, because there's a whole there's a whole base sort of thing, but when the lines start to come in, and there's certain things like the nose and the mouth, shaping of the mouth, that is when the felinity really starts to come in. And I kind of, I, I try to really, um, not to, not to make it seem overly important, but it really, I try, I try to be very thoughtful about trying to make a sort of a statement with, uh, and, and it be thoughtful about how I put my makeup on. And uh, I, I enjoy it, it's, it's exciting to me. So I don't mind spending 35 or 40 minutes a day doing it, it's fun. Here. 
the mics go up through the wig, but we don't have the mics yet, so yeah. they usually go up through the wig, and then there's a little hole. Hole in the wig that comes through. Five. Five. You're five. all set. I'm all set. Perfect. When the old views were on on me just before dawn, for a sentence you feel you could cut with a knife, announces the cat who can now be reborn and come back to a different Jellicle life.